Hello there, I am Ms. Wallstrom and I'm going to be reviewing the data that we've been able to collect on Claire over the last few weeks. First off, we want to say that Claire has been able to make friends at school and she's loving to socialize. She's very sweet and we've seen her participating in class and we've noticed how much she loves science and we're really just looking for the best ways that we can support Claire moving forward. We have noticed that Claire has been struggling with understanding some grade level vocabulary, as well as understanding some of what she's reading in her comprehension. She sometimes can become distracted or disinterested in class, especially if it is with something that she is not understanding. Over the last few weeks of monitoring, we've not seen the growth that we initially planned to have. With that in mind, we're wanting to make a few adjustments to her intervention times, as well as finding ways to adjust the support she's receiving so it will best fit her. We've set forth a couple of goals for her, the first being that we feel we can work towards Claire using more context clues, pictures, imagery, things like that in her text. So that way she can work to determine what the vocabulary that she's not understanding is and understand unfamiliar words as well. We're going to shoot for around a 60% accuracy when she is following this step at this point to see how she takes with that and how she progresses. We also want this reading and the comprehension to be at grade level if possible. And if we notice that she's still struggling after this point, then we'll work on reevaluating and seeing what we need to do to make sure that she is better supported and that she is learning to her fullest ability. The next goal that we're thinking about setting for Claire is for her to be able to read and understand on a grade level scale or below with the support only a handful of times. And then we're going to start with basic comprehension questions. This can be main ideas, characters, setting, different things like that. So that way we can make sure that she is grasping that grade level comprehension prior to moving into harder text in like science or social studies where there can be more of those tricky words. Then lastly, one thing we're hoping, we've noticed that when Claire is getting disconnected in class is when she is struggling with understanding what we are reading or what we are viewing. So we're wanting to implement more of a discussion time with her peers. So this way that she can be social, but she's also going to be doing it in an educational setting. And so we'll have her and a partner read through a text so they can support one another in their reading. And then they can take turns asking each other questions and evaluating each other for the answers. And so she can get that social interaction while still working on her reading, understanding, and comprehension. When it comes to being at home, it's so important to bring literacy into the home and make sure that she feels supported not only at school, but also at home. So some things you could do is if you're out and about and you have a shopping list, let Claire read the shopping list. If you're looking at your maps on your phone or in your car, let her read the directions out to you or try reading the street signs or things like that. This way she's feeling more comfortable and confident in her reading. And a lot of the times those can include tricky words that she might not know. So she can feel more supported and so she can be challenged when she's at home and away from school. As her comfort level grows, we can implement more fun and engaging ways that she can learn both at school and at home because we want Claire to feel connected to her learning. First off, when you see Claire reading, allow her to read to you or you could just sit down and both read together. So that way she sees the literacy in the home and you can discuss books and you can discuss what she's reading, why she thinks it's interesting and incorporate some of those questions. Who is the story about? Oh, what have you learned from this book? Where did the story take place? So you can see if she's grasping those information while she's reading by herself and with you. I like the idea of having a family book club. You can both read the same book together and this really emphasizes the need to talk and discuss these books together. And you have the information needed to make sure that she's answering your questions correctly, and that you guys can really have those beneficial conversations and have fun with comprehension and reading. And she will feel so supported when you're reading the same books as hers and being interested in the books that she is interested in. At home, you can also access a lot of the school's literacy resources online. Having this digital platform gives her access to multitudes of books, to lots of different literacy games and learning applications so she can really feel engaged in what she is doing. You can sit down and read with her 
a bunch of different books. You can sit down and play these games with her and ask questions, ask her how her programs are working, and just show her that you are interested in what she's learning and that you are there to support her. When you have access to all of these apps and technology, you have numerous books and lessons that can allow Claire to continue her learning and practice and grow in the areas that she might be struggling. There's multitudes of mediums across the board that can give her more engaging and hands-on learning activities through technology. Another thing that you could practice doing is when you're listening to music, you can have her tell you what the lyrics were and talk about what they mean. You could also turn on subtitles when you're watching TV and look at those tricky words together that she might not know and talk about what they can mean and how they play a role in the movie. In our community, we have several programs that can offer additional support to Claire as well. In the county, they offer additional tutoring services as well as additional support through the library and through the county of the school board. They give students access to books and different forms of reading material so she can continue to practice learning in and outside of school. There is also a company called Georgia's Children's Cabinet, which has a bunch of programs through the state to provide extra work, extra games, extra interactive material. So that way she's really reinforcing those different ways that she's learning and we can best find the way that Claire can learn and grow. There's also lastly a resource called Literacy Alliance, which works to help children grow and support in their learning levels for literacy. We hope that when they do these programs that it helps increase their literacy goals, it makes it easier for them to understand what's going on in their classroom, and the overall purpose is to make sure that they are catching up to the level that they are supposed to be at so they don't continue to feel behind and stressed out if they can't do the same things as some of their peers in the classroom. I think it's really important over the next couple of weeks and as we're working through this new plan to make sure that we are seeing similar progress being made at home as well as at school. It's so awesome if you could celebrate little victories like we will at school or big victories. You could set goals together. So let's say she is able to do really well on our literacy assignment in school that she was maybe feeling uncomfortable about. If she does really well and continues to do really well, maybe whenever she reaches those goals, then she could pick dinner or dessert that night. And for small victories, just make sure that you continue to be encouraging and make sure that she feels like she is being seen and heard in and out of the classroom. It's also okay to celebrate the learning process to make sure that Claire is feeling heard even when the victories are small or even on the days that she might be struggling more. Just having encouraging words that you're proud on her for how she's working and making sure that she feels like even if she isn't 100% where she needs to be, that you're always going to be there to support her and her goals. And for small goals, you could set some kind of thing aside where it's like, oh, you know, you did really great today. I'm really proud of you for working so hard. Why don't you get to watch an extra show on TV? Or let's listen to some music together or something that can really engage each other and be a celebration of her hard work. At this time, I think it is best that we'll follow up in about a month and we can discuss Claire's progress and if it is being met. We need all the additional support we can get both at school and at home because I want to make sure that we are meeting all of Claire's needs. So having these meetings together makes sure that we are seeing the same things at home as we are in school and that we are seeing the improvements that we want to see. And if there is for any reason not the improvement that we're expecting, that gives us the opportunity to reevaluate how we're teaching, how we're getting her to understand things, and finding the best way for her to work through things and support her learning journey and find her best learning style so that way we can make sure that the information that we're giving her is suited to what she needs. And of course, if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We are here to support you and to support Claire, and we truly appreciate everything that you guys do and everything that she is doing. And we really just want to make sure that she feels supported and seen and is reaching all those goals that we know that she really wants to reach. And we hope you have a great evening.